Hi everyone, I want to show you guys a new product I'm going to install. This is a um, Law Tactical Gen 2 AR Folding Stock Adapter. This thing is awesome. Um, it's from, if you go on the website lawtactical.com, you can see we, we um, you can order it from them. Very nice product, very solid product. The best part of it, it's made in the USA. So, right there, made in the USA, baby. Um, it's very easy to install. I've installed one before on my uh, rifle, and then I'm building another pistol because the one I made, a friend of mine loved it so much that he begged me to sell it to him. So I sold it to him. I broke even, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, give me an opportunity that um, I'm actually going to buy, um, build a 300 blackout with an eight and a half inch barrel. But right now, um, I ordered the barrel. It's hard to get the barrel, the 8.2 inch. Um, they're back ordered, but I kind of want to play with the 300 blackout for a while. Um, I, I'm thinking of ordering a 16 inch barrel just to um, shoot them, compare the 223 to the 300 blackout. But uh, I just wanted to show you the product. Um, let me open it up real quick and sh see what you get. comes with the, obviously the folding adapter, the buffer tube, um, I guess this is to bolt it onto the buffer tube, sticker, and the most important part, the instructions. Now the instructions are only one page, it's very 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 simple, um, common sense to do. And usually every time I try and do a build, uh, my neighbor decides to cut the grass. So you'll hear a lawnmower going in the background. So let's start with the build. All right, guys, you guys remember the fireball? If you look at my past videos, uh, you'll see uh, see it in action. The reason why I call it fireball is because it shoots a nice fireball out of this um, muzzle brake, um, Lord, um, Cod Valley muzzle brake, real nice muzzle brake. Um, my, one of my friends loved it so much that he begged me to sell it to him, so I sold it to him. So this is what the pistol looks like. Um, the one I'm going to build is similar, but it's going to have a, about a two inch shorter barrel. Because this is a ten and a half inch, I'm going to build a eight and a half inch, 300 blackout. 8.2 inch actually. I just wanted to show you the business end. Look at that. That's the... Core Valley Precision, I think it is, muzzle brake. Shoots nice. I love it. I love it. Anyway, let's start with the installing the Law Tactical Gen 2 uh, swing arm. Okay, so this is the pistol build. Obviously, if you want to go in the back, you can see how to build a, you know, the hammer and everything. Obviously, I don't need to go through all that stuff. So, we're doing the build. First you want to do is take apart this section right here because this section bolt, obviously bolts on here but spring loaded but you need to get the buffer mount through here. But um, first when, well obviously you take apart your old stock, take it out stuff. So let's get this going. Let me show you guys a little bit. Let me turn it a little bit. Let's see if the video, yep, you guys can see it pretty good. So first you have to take um, this little screw out. Take this out. Put it in my magnet. This piece comes out. Then the push button, which holds the um, stock, has to come out. Comes out in one piece. Oop, I have to turn that a little bit comes out of the spring and this is the little piece that holds it in. So now you have it completely stripped. So to put it on, first you need to get your put that in there, one of the disconnectors, detent goes to this little hole, then the little spring goes in here. Now this mounts just like that in here. So you have to make sure and 
put the spring. So let me turn this around so it make it easy for me. And then let me check the camera, make sure you guys can see that pretty good. Um, yeah, perfect. So how it works is you push this in, make sure the spring is not, and then you screw this goes threads into that hole. So let me try and get that in there. It's um, kind of difficult. Obviously you don't put an end plate on this side, usually an end plate. Usually, usually with the buffer, the original buffer, the end plate goes in here. Basically this is shaped like the end plate. Still has a little piece coming protrusion here so it fits in that little hole. So you just kind of line it up. And then thread this in. Best thing about it is once you have your old end plate, you basically thread it in with the end plate. And I want to fit it in, it might be a good idea to put some Loctite on there. So that's the first part. Then you just put the parts back in. Slide this piece back in. Put the spring. Obviously that fell on the floor. slides in that groove everything fits so tight and uh, nice it's everything is perfectly cut to fit Now, before I forget, um, this screw, this one over here, but this one tightens, puts the tension on this. So you could, if you want to real loose, you could just loosen this up a little bit and swing, or you could tighten it up and it's real tight. Alrighty, so now we're going to put the buffer on. Alrighty, let's put the buffer tube in. Now, you could put the stock buffer, uh, stock end plate on, but I'm not going to shut it, but, um, but I'm, I'm using a quick detach plate. So that way I could put a sling on. It's a real nice um, quick detach. That um, anti-rotational so it locks, quarter, um, I would say what a quarter turn. So you could actually put it in. in. So I'm gonna put that plate on. And this doesn't have a castle nut, the buffer tube for the pistol. So I don't need a castle nut, it just threads right in. And um, I'm going to put a dab. I'll put a dab later. I'm going to put a dab in and then now before you screw it all the way in you do have to have um, a detent that comes with the um, the law tactical. You don't put the, the one that, you, that came with the kit. You, the one that comes with law tactical kit you use. So just put that in there and then I have to just tighten it in. And then, so now it locks. Now this is obviously a pistol buffer tube, so you don't need now. Like I said, it doesn't come with an end plate. And then this one, 
this sling swivel or mount right there or you could use the stock one that comes with a low tactical um, right here but the only problem is with this one is once you put your hand on it kind of jams up on your hand you can live with it but you know at least they put a mount in there for you to use but um, I kind of like it where you can put a quick detach on that end plate right there it's nice and compact it doesn't go in the way anyway let's put the spring on and the puffer locks in as usual and that's more or less the build the only thing you need now is to put work on the bolt so we'll do that in a second okay now the bolt but first the final touch on the buffer tube is the cover now you can leave the buffer tube like that but I like the cover on fits nice and plus it's good on your face you don't want to get the, your, on a hot day the heat of the buffer tube on your face kind of pains so now let's put I forgot to put a bolt on Let me change the angle here so it'll be easier for you guys to see. So now with the buffer tube, obviously the bolt is in there. With this little space you need an extension. So this is the bolt extension. Fits right in. Get a screwdriver. Now notice these two grooves right here. These go at the 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock position because that these grooves are for the um, this little detent right here so you could slide the bolt slides right over and doesn't damage it. So basically you do is just push it in, lock it all the way in, and then tighten it. you have it. You can see it cycles. Let me turn it on an angle so you guys can see a little better. Let's adjust that a little bit. So cycles nicely. Now the only thing is with because of the bolt extension sticks out, you cannot use you cannot open like how you usually open where you push the pin and the upper receiver comes apart. How you have to do it is you have to take both pins out raise the front and then slide it out because now the bolt has the extension mounted on it then to re put it back in just lock it in like you used to slide the pop slide it in and then you lock it back in that way so like a field strip. When you're doing a field strip, you could um, take it apart that way. Because if you put the pin off, that bolt sticking out comes out. Like it very much. Um, now, with this, it was about 27 inches. So now it's about it's about 20 and a half, 29 inches. Oh, under 29, 20 and a half. With the extension piece because that's about an inch and a half inch 
inch and a half longer piece that's fitted in there, which is kind of good because now you have an inch and a half longer buffer tube that you can put it on your shoulder, so it's kind of longer, which is not bad. And then once it's folded, it's now this is a ten and a half inch barrel. It's roughly about twenty and a half inches on a ten and a half inch barrel. That is nice. That's very nice. Very small, compact. Let me bring this out a little bit so you can see the full gun. That's. Let me back out a little bit. That's perfect. That's. Like I said. That's not bad. 21 inches. Funny enough, I have um, took one of my daughter's tennis racket bags, and if you notice, it could fit in a tennis racket bag with plenty of room to spare, a couple inches, and it would fit with a 30 rung bag maybe, or a 20 rung mag, I haven't put it in, maybe I'll put it in and show you guys, so I just wanted you guys to see that, thanks for watching guys. I just wanted to show you, this is... um. This is the low mount tactical uh, Gen 2 swing arm on a 16 inch, actually Colt upper. Um, with it folded, it's roughly about, I would say under 27 inches folded. Like I said, it's a 16 inch barrel, so this is more or less what everybody's uh, rifle would be with it, with it folded because 16 inch barrel, of course, the legal length. Um, obviously, if you have an SBR, it would be even shorter but this is um 27 inches it's probably a little under 27 inches probably 26 and a half i just say 27 inches you know give it a little space but the best thing about it is that um with it fold with it um folded let me just adjust the camera here you could set you could set your stock you don't have to keep it folded like when you're transporting a collapsed stock you have to you push it all the way in you could actually adjust it to whatever length of pull you want, lock it, and then you could leave it like that because with it folded, let me find a button here, with it, it doesn't matter, it's folded, so you, you could adjust the length, lock it, and you don't even have to, so when you're ready to, to shoot, you just fold it out, and it's already adjusted to your length, you don't have to fold it out and adjust it, you know, or coming out of a truck with a, without this, you have to adjust it to the length, it's, it's just set. Another thing is, excuse me, it has, um, the Law Tactical um, has a QD sling mount, mounted on the bottom, that fits right there. The only problem is, when you have your hand on there, it kind of jams up, locks up on your hand. I mean, you could live with it, you know, the only problem, you know, the thing is, there's no other place they could really put it, so at least they, they put one on there for you, you know. And it comes out as non-rotational, so once you lock it in, it only goes like a quarter turn. You can, excuse me, I have um, ordered one of these uh, QD mounts, which is basically the same thing, it's just non-rotational. You can mount this right here, so you could put the sling mount right here. The only thing is, once, once it's folded, the sling comes this way because this is where the end plate will be, which is you know no big deal. It's folded. It's still it's still probably going to hold it, and then you know you just swing it out. So you have two options. You could probably just put a small QD sling mounted, and then you could put a hook on there or something. Um, you know, or like I said, you could put an end plate. You could put the other thing too is you cannot put. Um, let's see here. Where is it? Excuse me. You cannot put. Oh, I don't know where it is. But you can't put the Magpul sling swivel because it doesn't fit over this. So you can't put a Magpul. You can put this one from Botec. This is a pretty nice one. You can put this as an end plate. Comes right here, and then you could put a quick detached sling, a Magpul sling, or whatever with a hook. But the Magpul one doesn't fit. This is, um, you can get this at Botech, I think it's like $19, 
Um, they have a 10% off now, by the way, so get it for like, you know, 17 bucks. So I think, um, I think it's roughly about pretty nice, uh, hefty uh, sling end plate mount. Pretty thick. You could just mount it right there. Back it up. Put it, take that plate up. But that's about it. I just wanted to show you um, how it looks on a on a 16 inch barrel um, rifle. Real nice. Now, man, I'm gonna put this on every rifle I got. It's a uh, price is okay, a good price, but just to make it so small and compact, you lock your stock compact. Like I said, 20, 26 inches, 26 and a half, 27 inches. It's not bad. It's much smaller than you could get. That's the smallest you could get, I guess. But I mean, you can't go any smaller than that. Just remember, you have to lock your stock before you can shoot. That's the only drawback, but you understand because the ball has to go into the buffer, so obviously you can't shoot with it folded. But it's real nice. Um, real nice. It adds on about roughly. It adds on about. Um, I'll say about an inch and three quarter um, to your buffer. So when you adjust your buffer, you know, wherever you adjust your buffer, you just have to bring it like maybe one, one um, in because it has an extra inch and a half. So if you had it adjusted there, you just have to push it in one more. So basically, you know, so actually you have a longer length of pull, about an inch and a quarter. So if for a tall person, you have an inch and a quarter, inch and three quarter longer pull. But being that it's adjustable, you could just adjust it one click in and you all set. Now I just want to show you guys my tennis racket. My new tennis racket. Fits nicely. Actually have a lot of room to spare. Now I'm just doing this for kicks because I just happen to have my daughter's tennis racket bag. 20 rung mag. I fit it in there, it's pretty tight with a 30 rung mag, but I, I have a two or three 20 rung mags. That, this is my truck gun, I do a lot of traveling, and I keep, this is my new truck gun, I should say. And uh, I always keep uh, my rifle with me in my truck, my car when I'm traveling. So this is my new, smaller version, locks nice. This is a full back mag, by the way, so I'm just going to take it out. Now, um, the only thing I don't like about it, which nothing can do about it, is this little piece right here. That's um, where the hinge is. It's not a bad because, you know, it fits nicely. The only thing is it does interfere when you're charging the handle. My finger hits this piece. So I do have a couple of extended mags, um, extended handles that I'll probably put one on just so I could get the extra room. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, you can charging like that, no problem. But other than that, now I have the sling swivel that mounts that came with this and I put an end place swing swivel swivel. And nice uh, with a ten and a half inch barrel. Now the th the blackout is gonna have um, eight point two so just roughly about two inches shorter so will probably be around like right there, so that's even an extra two inches shorter. And fits nicely. Thought you guys might like it. Works real good. Thanks for watching guys. Please uh, subscribe and um, I'll have more videos to come. Thanks.